Obviously, we're not matching up well versus running football teams because we've already proved that. Uh, hopefully, we'll match up good with Memphis. Uh, you know, Memphis does a, a nice job running the football, lead, but then they're not like uh, the Southern Misses or, or Central Florida. But uh, hopefully, we'll match up better versus Memphis. But their their receivers are good. Now. Coach, you don't like to live in the past, but you have to feel pretty good about yourselves going against against a Memphis team you've beaten what seven straight times. Well, we have, and we talked about that last night. I'm sure that, uh, you know, with the you know, Memphis being on a roll now, and I'm sure they preaching all week up there to their team. Coach West is about, you know, it's been seven years since Memphis has beat UAB. So uh, I hope we can continue that that trend. You know, Coach West talked about his team needing to be physical enough to play UAB every time you play them. You just out-muscle them. Is that something you can you know, continue planning on the team to do against them? Well, we're going to certainly try. We, You know, we've been trying to be a – uh, improve our running game here for the past three or four weeks. I think we've made some good strides, particularly last week. Uh, you know, so we do need to be able to run the ball to be effective against Memphis. And uh, but we just got to be solid in every area. And, you know, we got to protect well and throw the ball and, and catch. And, and again, play hard and not make mistakes is going to be a big, big part of us being successful. Your team was was in this game against Central Florida down to the end. How much did they need to have a game where, where they were in it in the fourth quarter? Well, you know, I think we need to win a game. We're not here to to, to come close. We're here to win, and uh, we talked about it at halftime. We, you know, we were you know two against two other quality opponents. Uh, you know, Mississippi State and Florida State. You know, we were in the ball game at halftime, and we needed to finish, and uh, we didn't finish the other night. And uh, you know, we we really came back out the second half. You know, we had the ball, and uh, we threw a pick, and they were able to take it in for a score. So. But, but, you know, to our guys' credit, they kept competing, kept fighting, and, and uh, you know, we tried, tried to the very end. Looking at your schedule that you've played, with the exception of Southern Miss, every team that you've lost to is bowl eligible. Uh, how tough has your schedule been, and does that say anything about these, these teams that you have played? Well, I think, obviously, we knew coming in we were going to have a pretty tough schedule, not only in conference, because, you know, we, we got, you know, played Tulsa and Houston, and, you know, those people in East Carolina and Central Florida in conference. And then, you know, playing Mississippi State. And, I, you know, Sylvester's been there, what, four or five years. And, you know, I knew he would have a good football team coming back. And, then, of course, the history of Florida State. You know, then Michigan State has a, had a coaching change, which uh, they've done an outstanding job there. So we knew we had a tough schedule coming in. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, we can't run from it. You know, how difficult is it for you guys to just you know, two games left and haven't had the season you wanted, but not to look forward to next year saying, I'll be glad when the season is over so we can start over? That, that, that hasn't been the case at all. You know, every last couple of weeks here since we've kind of been knocked out of the chance to go to a bowl game or uh, we've talked about, you know, playing for each other, playing for this senior class. This senior class, I think, is anytime there's a change, it's, it's tough on that senior class. And, uh, you know, and, and, and made this statement and I'm extremely happy and proud of the commitment that this group of seniors have made and bought into what we're trying to do and you know got on board with it and, and so uh, you know we're trying to play for each other win for each other and win especially for the senior class to, to put you know let them leave on a good note it would certainly be a lot better to wind up four and eight than two and ten uh, finish up on a couple of wins and everybody have a good taste in their mouth and feel good about themselves and and hopefully that we can get that done. One of those seniors is Sam, and um, and obviously you want to give him the opportunity to play. But Joe came in and, and really gave his team a big spark. How do you balance the playing time between those two? Well, we're basically going to do what we did last week, and what we told them is uh, that we'll rotate them every couple of series. Uh, but at the same time, if one guy has a long drive, that you know, 10, 8, 10, 12 play drive, we may go with the other one in the next series. I mean, so basically. We're splitting time with them, and I think it uh, gives us, you know, we've struggled running the football, and I think this will give us, this gives us a better opportunity to make some things happen running the football. Does that help you with the other team's defense and that they have to go back and forth between the two? Well, I don't think there's a lot of difference between Sam and Joe. Uh, you know, they, they, if I had to say, Sam probably is a little uh, more of an accurate passer. Joe's a little better runner, but if you look at the other night, Sam had the long run and Joe had more completion. So, uh, you know, I don't. I don't think there's a lot of difference in them. You've got.
got the little trophy that they play for in this game, the, the ribs. Is that it's something you talked about? Trophy, it's a big trophy. <laughs> it is big. It's Cadillac yeah, 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 Heavy. Too, they pick it up. Is that something that's important to you guys? Yeah, I, I think so. We, uh, yeah, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, the, it, it you know, was a good rivalry that, that you know, we, got with Men we had with Memphis. And, uh, I think logistically, you know, was uh, you know only being about what three three hours away. Um, there's, there's a lot of similarities in the two programs. Obviously, they've had football for quite some time, and we're relatively young with football. But uh, I think it can be growing to something even bigger and better. You know, how was the offensive line play the other night? It just to the untrained eye it looked looked better. Right? I think it was a lot better. I think the <clears throat> what two two reasons were. Our two young tackles, Terrence Edge is here today, and, and then uh, Matt McCants playing left tackle. They both uh, had had good ball games, and I think it really uh, helped us uh, be able to do some things offensively that we wanted to do. Any final questions for Coach Callaway? Thanks. Thank you.